Hi guys, welcome to today's video. And today's video is as per the title, why we're not upgrading Carol's GT Air to the GT Air 2. Now we've been really, really pleased with these showy helmets. That's Carol's. That's mine. Both got the same helmet, different design, and they've both got currently got the Interphone F5 comms unit. Now it's comm the comms unit that we're looking to upgrade as well as the helmet. And uh, it's that reason we've bought the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. And we've bought one of those each. And that's where the problem lies. The new GTA 2 is pre-prepared for the Senna SRL2 and basically when you buy the GTA 2 and you want comms they want you to buy the Senna unit and the Senna unit is about 221 quid or it is from the sports bike shop and we've only paid slightly more for what we consider to be a superior system and uh, if you have got the pack talk bold by Cardo. I'd be interested in having your comments below. After doing our research with the mesh comms, we, we believe it's a far superior unit to what the unit is that you have to get if you want it integrated with the new GTA 2. And it's for that reason that Carol's next helmet is going to be Is another GTA one and you can still get them so this is what she's decided on a little bit funky isn't it and uh, I think it'll go quite nice with her uh, grey and red triumph but the main thing is it's got a straight side there where we can easily fit the Cardo comms and uh, I'll put a picture up of the new helmet and at this position here there's like a triangle plastic section and it's on both sides of the helmet and that's to allow a more flush fitting center unit to clip into the sides so you you basically prize out the plastic piece at the side and the cap at the back where the rest of the unit goes and that's all pre-prepared for this Senna unit. But in doing so with the GTA 2, they've made it a lot, lot more difficult to fit any other manufacturer's unit, like the Cardo. And we want the Cardo unit. It's as simple as that. And they're trying to force you down a line of picking a unit that you don't particularly want. And what happens if you've already got that unit on a helmet and you want to upgrade your helmet, but you don't want to buy new comms. It's the same problem, isn't it? Now this plastic unit, I've seen several videos, and I've seen people butcher up the, the plastic cover to actually get the comms unit on. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now we, we want the comms unit pretty well forward like that, so it's it's easy hand. Well, probably that side there, isn't it? On the left hand side, so you operate it with your left hand. We want it about there. And because there's a plastic unit on the GTA 2, it means you're gonna to have to have the unit right the way around the back of the helmet. And it just looks, it looks pretty rubbish. And they've done, the, they've done the same thing with the Neotech too, that if you want comms on, they're forcing you down the route of the Senna SRL2, which they want you to fit in that helmet as well. And you've got the same problem with that helmet. If you want to fit this type of comms, you're ending up having it right around the back, or you're, you're butchering up the cover plate 
maybe invalidating the warranty on your uh, brand new helmet. So that's the reason we've not gone with the GTR 2. But there are a few other, few other reasons. Now you see on this helmet, it's got the vents at the front there. It's got the vent on the top and it's got the vent at the back here, which you can close off when it gets cold. Now the new GTA 2, the vents are just open at the back. It comes straight out, so you can't close them off. So you probably think, well, it's not really a problem on a cold day. You just close the top vent, stops the air coming in. But the open vents at the back, in my opinion, will still draw some air. And if you're perhaps short of hair on top, and a lot of guys my age are not carrying much thatch on top, it still pulls some cold air across the top of your head when you maybe don't want it. And I don't know why the new GTA 2 has done away with that back closure. For me, I don't know. I don't know what it serves other than to save a little bit of money. So that's a big negative for me. We ride in all sorts of conditions, and I want to be able to close the vents when I want to close them. And uh, so that's another reason we're not buying. And of course, the other main benefit of buying the old helmet, if you can still find them, there's not many around now. But this one was. £329. Brand new, out of the box, never been used. And if you're buying the new GTA 2, I've looked on the sports bike shop, for a plain colour, you can get them from £400 up. For one of the uh, better graphics, you're paying up to £500. So it's quite a big saving just going for the old helmet. So and the other thing, and it's what Carol's I think it's Carol's biggest concern is they've moved away. See that there? The double D. And in my opinion, the double D fastening, one of the most secure fastenings you can have on a motorbike helmet. And they've moved away to the ratchet type where they click in, it's got, you know, notches on the, on the, on the plastic strap. I mean, it must, it must have been proved safe but I just don't know why you'd move away from that. It's ultimately adjustable. You can get it perfect to the length you want. And once you've used Double D and got used to it, I can't think of any other strap that I'd want to use. I mean, I have used the ratchets on previous helmets, but I just feel that these are super secure. They're not coming undone on a, in an accident. So that's the reasons we're not buying the GTA 2. So let me know in the comments if there's anything you don't agree with what I've said, but it's the reasons, it's our reasons, and the main the main one, the biggest one for me, is being able to fit whatever comms we want to fit. And I don't know why helmet manufacturers are going down the route of trying to get you to have one particular type of comms. We love this as a general purpose touring helmet the GTA. It's what it's been designed for. It's got a nice drop down visor and uh, does everything we want it to do. But when they're trying to force you down the road of having one type of comms, I don't agree with it. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheerio for now. Bye bye. Well, welcome back. Sometime later, as they say, I fitted it. So What do you think? If you're interested in, in how that is fitted and how difficult it is, and it isn't that difficult if I fitted it, uh, there's loads of videos out there, but uh, I'll link a vid to the likeable rider up here or over there, and uh, he runs through exactly fitting the same uh, unit to this same helmet. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching and catch up with you on the next one.